about ball position and why it's so important to know where your ball position is and what happens when your ball position gets out of whack. Springtime is coming, we're gonna be going out to the range, going out to the golf course, and what's gonna happen is the first thing that usually happens, our ball position is gonna get out of place. It's gonna drift forward, it's gonna drift backwards, we're gonna hit some shots and then wonder why we hit the shots that way. So, let's take a look at what ball position does for us as golfers and in the golf swing. What I'm gonna do is, as we can see with this green alignment stick, I'm gonna put the ball in three different positions. I'm gonna put it in the middle of my stance, I'm gonna put it at the front of my stance, and then I'm gonna put it all the way at the back of my stance here. We're gonna see what happens with all three different shots. So, let's put it right in the middle. I'm gonna hit a shot here. Okay, so we're gonna look at a couple of parameters here. One would be the path, in this case, 1.1 in to out. We're gonna look at the club face, in this case, 1.9 degrees open. We're gonna look at the attack angle, 1.8 degrees down, and then just the total distance, uh, carry distance being 195 for this shot. So pretty standard uh, five iron for me here. So let's hit a second shot here. We're gonna put it all the way forward in our semi stats. We're gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna lie, I just had to hit three from the front of my stance because I couldn't get one to go straight. That's how inconsistent it is. So looking at those same parameters here, we can see the path has changed from four degrees out to in, causing that fade spin. My club face staying open a little bit more at four degrees. My attack angle here is actually going upwards, uh, which isn't good for an iron. Um, but, and that's what's gonna cause me to hit the shot that I did, a little fade. You can see that the carry distance is also down to 168. So, by putting the golf ball forward of my stance, I've not only changed my angle of attack, but I've also changed my club path, which has caused me to hit a different shot than I'm used to. A little bit of a fade, I'm used to seeing the golf ball curve to the left. So, if I'm out on the range and I'm not sure what's going on, or out on the course and I'm not sure what's going on, that could cause me to get flippy with my hands, could cause me to stop my body rotation, it's going to cause bad shots and I'm not going to know why. So I'm going to try and fix it with my hands when, in reality, all I have to do is bump that ball position back to the middle of my stance and I should hit more normal golf shots. Now let's hit one from the back of my stance. We're going to hit one all the way from the back here. See, this line stick is quite, quite far back off my right foot. So the back of my stance, we can still see some pretty drastic changes here. Path has now changed from five degrees in to out. Club face still a little bit open. This is gonna accentuate what's happening with the golf shot. Probably gonna hook it more for me, especially into the wind. 7.2 degrees downward strike on that golf ball now. So now we've added quite a bit downwards, about six degrees. Uh, and obviously the golf ball went shorter, 182 yard carry. So, we're gonna do things by changing ball positions that we're not used to. And then we're gonna to get to the course, we're not gonna know why, we're gonna be searching, could mean you flip your hands. All sorts of things go wrong when we change ball positions. So, let's make sure that when we get out on the golf course, we know where the proper ball position is. Get an alignment stick between your legs, make it consistent. Get your eyes looking at the right thing as you start this golf season, and you should start the golf season out hitting the golf shots that you wanna hit. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next time. Yeah.